ladies and gentlemen, snails and turtles and biscuits. I'm glad Michael approved. Yeah, they're great. They're fantastic. They're so nice. Uh, the hallway. Welcome, welcome back. We're doing another popper cube draft. Uh, I finished my introduction there. Uh, the hallway in the house is very, very dark. So I have to go up the stairs to get out of the the room I'm in. And uh, at night, it's very, very dark. And the only the closest way to turn on the hallway light is like halfway up the stairs, and then at the top of the stairs. There's none at the bottom. So Katie bought me some lights some hallway lights that are motion sensor and i just stuck them to the wall and they actually it's a perfect amount of light and they're fantastic and now i hopefully won't die yeah what did you say a fair bit of that was in game oh really that's impressive we just watched a preview not a preview but a trailer for the mad max game that came out in 2015 if you guys are watching on youtube definitely let us know in the comments what game we should play next uh i actually don't know what to take here i'm probably just gonna take curse of chains because it keeps us open um we're looking for a non-magic game to play and we have a list going so far i think what we're leaning towards right now is god of war the batman games or shadow of the colossus but neil said mad max from 2015 which was actually pretty good looking all right uh compulsive research seems great keeps us on color i really like blue in this cube because i feel like card advantage is at a premium oh my god we could play cooked off formerly known oh my god oh my god i feel like i would lose my mind if we played cooked off can't help my be scared i've been old sometimes and the rain's gonna wash away, I believe. Remember that song? It was, uh... Is that three doors down? It's not. It is not. Uh, Cloaked Siren. Not to be confused with Croaked Siren, which is, uh... That's a frog. Tried Subnautica. It's not a AAA game, but it's... Yeah, I've, I've heard... Everyone keeps telling me about Subnautica. How many times does Subnautica have to come up before... Oh my god, Katie. Literally, I was just going to say, like... I keep getting told about Subnautica. <laughs> Katie, how about like how about this? When we, when, we, uh, when we get our place in July, we'll play Subnautica. How about that? How about that? We can all, we can all sit down and play a good old Subnautica session. Mardu Horde Chief. I don't know which direction to go. None of these cards are super compelling. Then I won't be too... But we have to do it with the lights off. Uh, Snap seems okay, I guess. I don't love it. Ugh. I don't know. This pack's... I guess Cloak Siren is fine. It's a 4-drop. Keeps us on color. Shaper Parasite's alright. Plus 2 negative 2 is decent. Kills a guy. Yeah, I mean, it's good enough to, to stay on color. I do. I hate open water where I can't see the bottom. It is literally one of my fears. If you were to take me, if you guys ever wanted to really get me, like in like a, a really malicious way, not like a jokey way, because don't joke about it. But if you guys kidnapped me and you took me on a boat, I don't mind being on the boat. Boats are cool. But if you tossed me in the water, like in the dark, where I can't see my, if I, like I couldn't even see my own feet, I'd probably, I'd probably pass out from, from sheer terror. Like that shit is mind-blowingly terrifying to me i can't handle it i would freak out i'd be like ah, 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 ah. and then uh and then i'd be like I'd, I'd probably pass out from from shock is it the alaska phobia that's interesting it would be nice to put a name to my fear is that an intense and persistent fear of the sea or sea but i don't mind sea travel Include fear of deep bodies of water, fear of the vast emptiness of the sea. Oh God, yes, of sea waves, sea creatures, and fear of distance from land. Wow, that's a that's a hundred percent what it is. That's a hundred percent what it is. The vast emptiness of the sea. There's something psychological to me um, that makes me extremely uncomfortable about how it's literally you're floating in emptiness. 
and there's nothing to like ground yourself to and nothing to like cling to, right? Like there's nothing I can't like, I can't cling to a rock. I can't be on a, on land. I can't like, like there's something like even there's been certain video games where like if there's a C section, like even like World of Warcraft, I think when you had to like swim really far or go down to like ships, like even parts like that would kind of creep me out. It's really weird. It's it's a very strange. Uh, I'm just gonna keep stay. I'm gonna stay blue here because why not? We should just stick to Luigi's Mansion then. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna be playing Subnautica. I'm gonna be back like, <sighs> like it's just such a it's such a next level. Like it's funny because like it's a it's a scary game. Like it's a it's a creepy game, right? But like for me, it's like next level creepy simply because of my own internal phobia. Franconic Disciple. That's it. That's literally it. Like, the reason it's so terrifying to me is because I don't know what's down there. Like, if I can't see... But, like, if I go to, like... When in, when I was in Florida, we used to go to, like, uh, springs. Like, like springs all the time. Like, we're... Um, you know, like, we're... It's clear water. Let me see if I can show you a picture. Like... All right, now we gotta... Now we gotta make a choice here. I think... F I think I like blue-white better than black-white... Black-blue? I think there's better black blue cards though. Oh, I'll take Loon, R Law Rune Enforcer. Oh, uh, I don't hate Stonehorn Dignitary or Peace Strider. I'll take Peace Strider. Like I used to regularly go to a place called Wakaiwa Springs in Florida. And it looked like this, basically. Like, and it's crystal clear water. It's like 73 degrees. You can see right down to the bottom. You know exactly what's going on. And it's like, it's great. Like, I would love it. It was it was a blast. And I never felt creeped out. And I was never like, whoa, what's going on? What's at the bottom here? Um, I knew everything that was happening. It was awareness. I had an awareness of, of what was going on. Okay, now I'm seeing a lot of green blue cards, which is pretty nice. I think we're green blue now. I like it. So yeah, there's definitely like a lot of the fear is that like most water like that is brackish and dark and like not clear. And so like, I don't know if it's five feet deep or literally like two miles deep. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know where the bottom is and that creeps me the fuck out. Okay, I'm feeling good about the green right now. I really enjoy playing through the not well-rated indie games on stream. Like, what, you're like, what, this game get a 40? That's my jam. I'll take it. Oh, 36%? Sounds good. Ooh, I like Aether Snipe a lot. I also like Griff Vanguard. Hopefully the Griff Vanguard comes back. But Aether Snipe, that's just a 4-4 four, four Muldriff, uh, Mist Raven. My two worst fears are heights and the... Dude, Mark, I have three fears, and, and one of them you guys are probably going to laugh at. Three fears. One is heights, one is deep water, and for the longest time, one of my fears was alien abduction because the gray aliens creep me the fuck out. Gray aliens are some of the scariest, like, looking creatures because there's, and again, I think it comes down to emptiness and vastness. Like they have the, 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 like those traditional black eyes that look super empty and like emotionless. And it's for some reason, the idea of those, of those, the, you know, the, the, the description of those creatures is just absolutely terrifying to me. This guy's a five, five for four. This guy's a four, four for four, but this guy has a better upside or we can just take sky spawner, which is also pretty sweet. Dude, the eyes, like it's so, or like, I mean, like that's also a star compass, a renegade frighter. This pack's actually very, very good. I'm going to take the, the sky spawner. 
I like Callus Dismissal. Uh, Winged Codal seems pretty good. Not to be confused with Ice Fang Codal, which costs one less and draws you a card. But, you know, you you can. It's still a, a Flying Death Toucher. Also Scion Summoner. Fear of Mice. Katie, I don't think you're actually afraid of mice. I think you just had a bad mice experience. Um... I think Winged Kotal might come back because it's just a... I don't think anyone's blue-green. Ooh, I love Rain, Rain of Revelation. Also, Mother Bear's great, too. I want to take the Rain, though, because I think drawing cards is still very, very good. I can brawl a dragon, but I can't stand the great... Yeah, dude. But being possessed. I watched The Exorcist when I was eight and never got over it. Yeah, I mean, like, that's that's so funny because, like, if, you, if you've had an experience like that from an early age, it, it's real. It has a real effect. Is it Phantom Monster or Mnemonic Wall? Mnemonic Wall lets us go, like, infinite if we get, like, some of the blink cards. And this deck's actually pretty good for blinking. Like, blinking an Aether Snipe. Eldrazi Sky Spawner is, is profitable. Uh, Coiling Oracle is good. I think we want the wall here. I think the 3-3 three, three Flyer for 4 is just, just fine. Oh, Preordain. Also, if Applied Biomancy comes back, that's pretty cool. Or Rampant Growth. Yeah, I'm going to take Preordain. See, this sticks. Oh, this place. There we go. Exile with two creatures. Return them to the battlefield. I mean, you just go infinite with Mnemonic Wall, which I think is... There's just a lot of ways to do this, and it's kind of obnoxious, to be quite honest. It's funny, because Deep Water and, and Heights are very, very common fears, and I think the reason is, like... um. Because humans by nature are not meant to go to these places. Like we're not we're not designed to be deep underwater. We're not designed to be in the air. Um, we're very much land ground creatures. So it's almost like it feels like an evolutionary, uh, like a survival mechanism, where it's like if you're afraid of these places that that pose a danger to you, um, you're gonna be safer. You know, like it's it's a, it's you're gonna you're gonna avoid them. Thirst for meaning seems good. Evolution charm is what? Search your for basic land, return a creature from your graveyard to your hand, or gain flying. That's not bad. I think it, we have compulsive research and reign of revelation already. And preordain. I kind of like fire ice. If, they, we have, if we find a way to splash a red, maybe off a harrow. That's pretty cool. Actually, I'm just gonna take the one three that is that does loot. Ooh, this is nice. Depths of depths of desire is also good. What's a bad mouse experience? Uh, Katie had mice in her house, only a few, and it wasn't like an infestation or anything crazy, but she did have a few mice in her house, and uh, it was a whole to do, and they had to call like the like an exterminator, like a, a pest control person. And, like, they didn't know where they were coming from. And it was just a really kind of... Just a real obnoxious experience, unfortunately. Rampaging Hippo can go over here, but it's not bad because it does cycle at the very least. They were crawling through the vents. Oh, I'm aware. Oh, you're telling them, I'm sure. They were crawling through the vents! Bailoth Gorger? Oh, yeah, that guy's... That's, guy, that's the dude I was hope, hoping came back, so that's nice. We had to stick my schnauzer on one to chase it outside. <laughs> and by they and by we had to stick my schnauzer, they mean literally Watson was in the room and started chasing him naturally. I'll take winged coodle. They were in the kitchen, one ran at me, I had two brooms, we were screaming. Yeah, it was a whole mess. It was a whole to do. For sure. Even though I'm terrified of the Greys, I keep watching movies and other stuff about them as a form of training to conquer my fears. The longest training game was to watch all 12 seasons from X-Files at night alone in the house. Gotta grow balls of steel from the time they come face. Oh, um, Mark, have you ever seen the movie Fire in the Sky? Or Communion. 
those are two very, very scary, like, and I don't even think they're intentionally scary. Just the subject matter itself is scary. This is our deck, or like, this is 23 cards out of 28 cards, and I think we're already, like, our deck is already sweet if this is our deck. Like, even Savage Swipe is good. If the creature's power is two, and we're like... Uh, I guess you know it's... Oh, Applied Biomancy came back. That's pretty sweet. Return a permanent, or, or return a creature, and give plus one, plus one. Yeah, we're definitely taking Biomancy. That's great. All of the all of the green-blue cards came back. And Driver of the Dead was the last bro. I think we just take capsize. I do think capsize is a little expensive in this format. Like, it's really hard to just keep looping capsizes, but, like, I think it's... I still think it's very good. And if Band Together or Shimmering Glass Kite or Safe Hold Elite as a two-drop comes back, that'd be pretty sweet. But, I mean, a capsize is just broken if you can start bouncing it. So you're saying Moochel's dad was abducted by Grays and they gave him an unquenching thirst for chicken nugs? I can't say that's not true. If someone wanted me to treat their pet mouse, I don't think I could. Oh, that's... Katie, I think if you saw a mouse not in the... <sighs> I bet you have, though. That's a thing. Like, Because that's a funny thing. Like, my mom used to hate rats, right? But then, like, I literally had, like, two fancy rats as pets. And my mom actually thought they were very, very cute. Her, her biggest problem was their tail. Like, because they have, like, kind of, like... Not cute tails, right? Like, they don't have fur on their tails. They're just kind of like... Th their tails look like dog tails if they were shaved. But, like, they have such personality and character. It, like, they were such great pets. And they're super friendly and social. And it's just like, they're they're actually wonderful. But, um... Like, mice are so... Like, mice that are, like, not invading your space are so... Like, they're just super cute. Court Hussar is not great. Claustrophobia or, or either Adept is nice. This format, like, it's format's weird. Like, it has an overabundance of every single card that does a thing. Like, there's a ton of these, like, the Claustrophobia-like effects that, that tap a creature down or makes it so they can't attack or block. Here's two in the same pack. There's tons of bounce spells. There's this guy. We already have Aether Snipe, um, Capsize, Applied Biomancy, Mana War we know is in here. I'm going to take this because we have Displace. So I think it's probably better for our deck. A Fancy Rat isn't the same as a Wild Mouse crawling through the house. But a Wild Mouse crawling through the house is also not the same as someone's pet mouse. You know what I mean? Mice are more prone to biting and such. Oh, that's interesting to know. I also, every time I had to call them fan, I'm like, I have some Fancy Rats. See, here's the Mana War. <laughs> I always felt that too. I was like, oh, what, what makes them so fancy? I'm probably going to cut uh, Shaper Parasite because this is a lot to ask for. It's a lot of mana. I don't think we need Harrow. I don't care about that. Halimar Wave Watch is kind of meh. Like, we already have, like, bounce spells. We have Callus Dismissal, Applied Biomancy, Mana War, Aether Adept, Capsize, Depths of Desire. Was that six? <laughs> we already have six bounce spells. Aether Snipe. We have seven bounce spells in our deck. Archaeomancer and Pondering Mage are both fantastic. Uh, Archaeomancer is great with Mnemonic Wall and uh, the Displace. Pondering Mage is just great in general. Airy Oofs we can probably sideboard in. I think I want the Pondering Mage. Oh, Elephant Ambush is nice. Except the flashback is 8 mana. So it's obviously worse than the, the rebound one in the new set. I'll just take repeal, I think. We have 14 creatures already. 
My internet had a bit of lag here. I went back to see what you said to me. I didn't get the name of the movies quite well. Uh, Communion and Fire in the Sky. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Look, another bounce spell. Like, I just feel like this format has a, too much redundancy. So your deck is like, uh, if I'm playing blue, I have 14 bounce spells. If I'm playing white, I have 14 spells that make you unable to attack. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's... If that's everyone's perception, but... It's certainly mine. Boom, 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 boom. A uh, little shoddy. One of the problems I see is, like, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of two drops in this format. I mean, I still make two cuts still? Yeah, Mark, you should check, definitely check those out. Fire in the Sky and Communion. Oh, what up, Water Sports Drew? Dude, I've seen you more now on this weird time schedule that I that I end up being on sometimes. I'm going to take out Winged Kotal, I guess. I like Wall of Roots. I keep cutting cards, and then I keep adding more cards that I like, too. Eh, Brindle Show, it's kind of meh. I like Brindle Show less than Wall of Roots. So now we only need one cut. It's probably one of these guys, even though Kroos and Tusker is nice. I think I like Stripe River Riverwinder a little better, but it's really... Look, all three of these came back. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think Band Together is great. Yeah, I don't... Like, I, I still have a usual time of, like, during the day on the weekdays, but... Um, I've also been trying to, like, get some streams in at night, too, if I can. Uh, Pulse of Moross is super nice against, like, the aggressive decks. We also have a Peace Strider, so. All right, we need one cut here. Either have Mana War. Seems good. Uh, Hooting Mandrels actually seems great in this deck. Uh, none of these. I mean, I'm tempted to take out Stitch Drake. Because you have to exile a creature? Yeah, let's take out Stitch Drake. I could just play 41. That seems like my jam. Purple rain, purple rain. Yeah, I'm going to play 41. Like an absolute maniac. Uh, 1, 2, 3. 10, 7 seems fine. Pretty low on blue. I love a 41 card special, my dude. I think this timing is great. I bet you do. Neil, it's probably like what? It's probably like 2 p.m. on on Monday right now for you, right? Oh, Close Encounters? So here's the funny thing, Mark. Oh, actually the beginning of Close Encounters. So Close Encounters of the Third Kind is interesting. For those who haven't seen it, it's a Steven Spielberg movie. And it's very, very good. It's like three hours, too. Three and a half hours, probably. It was like, a, it was an epic length movie. Um, the thing about Close Encounters is that, like, everything... No, I'll try not to spoil it, even though the movie is like 50 years old. Uh, it's like from the 70s. So I guess it's like 40 years old. Now it's like 50, I guess, right? <sighs> Hold on one second. Um, so everything leading up till the ending is creepy and like presented in a creepy way and kind of like really disturbing. But then once you get to the end and there's the reveal... When the when they're actually revealed at the end, it's not they're not really that creepy. They're more like friendly and fun and 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 kind, you know. It's a really interesting movie though. The movie's really great. Yeah, we need more diversity in cards. I haven't seen a planeswalker in any pack. It's true. How are you gonna have a cube with no planeswalkers? 
I'm gonna keep this hand. I think I think it's fine if we can hit one land. We got a lot of three drops. Also, green mana would be amazing. Oh, come on, green. Forest off the top. Four forest off the top. Oh, this this guy, huh? All right. Well, third land off the top. Third third off the top. Get him. They do just want to space flicks and chill. You're right. Rift Bolt. Oh, now now it's forest. Okay. Uh, when it dies, so I could very easily either adept. Yeah, I like adept here because it forces them to pay another three mana. Plus, like if they want to rift bolt this guy. I say okay. Also, we do have Pulse and Peace Strider in, in the sideboard, which is nine life. There's another movie that kind of don't know if it's a fourth kind, but there's a scene where I almost shit my pants. The dude sitting on the sofa starts freaking scream. Uh, in an outer worldly voice out of nowhere, dang it, they got me there. <laughs> oh, get a load of this hasty boy. Okay, okay. Well. I actually think we want a compulsive here because we want to hit land drops. So, oh, just a. Why do we have? A, wait, why did it out of planes? Do we have forty-two cards in one planes? I guess we'll discard the planes. That's pretty hilarious. Wow. Shanala, Shanala, Katie is Katie is a veterinarian. She's doing her internship right now. She is a DVM. Unexpected bant. Oh god, this is so awkward, dude. They're never gonna know. It's, they'll never know it was unintentional. It's because of the stupid curse of chains. So this is twenty-eight plus seven, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty-four. Yeah, we're playing forty-two cards. That's wild, dude. So we can play Wall of Roots one, two, three, and then and Wild and Hooting Hooting Hootie and the Mandrels. We could also take one counter off this and keep. Um, uh, I don't think I don't think any of the cards in our deck really are uh, care about the graveyard. Pulse does, but we don't have Pulse in the main deck, so. Plane slide into Frank's DMs like, "Hey, remember me?" And I'm like, "No, I don't actually. I don't, have we played with? Have we played together before?" Purple rain. I'm sorry. Why did I have purple rain in my head? Is there a rain card? Yeah. No, Neil. That's exactly what I said. Yeah, they put it on there because of the. Um, are they gonna two for? Are they gonna two for one? This guy. Yeah, I guess that's kind of a two for one. Yeah, they put it in there because of the uh, the curse of chains. Curse of chains, curse and chains. All right, so we're going to seven. Not ideal. Okay, I actually got to go now. Neil, have a great night, buddy. I appreciate you. Can't block this turn. Oh, for fudge sake, dude. That's a yikes for me, dog. There is a preordain in our deck, so. Oh, there's also Savage Stomp. Um, I don't think we need the cards. The bounce is a little slow. We have cap size. I'm just going to shuffle and see what we hit. Okay. Wow, this is... Okay, so one, two, three, four, six, seven. Cool. It's really frustrating. Well, that's obnoxious. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of this planes. Brindle Shoat is a good blocker. Um, uh, P 
Strider, Pulse of Marasa, instead of probably like, I think Displace might be too cute. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, this is, this is fine. I always want to hit lands. I, I did not hit a land. Not only do I not want to hit um, spells because they know what the spell is, but also just because I want the ramp, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Okay. Boom, ba doom, boom, 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 This is a show called Seinfeld. I don't know if you guys have seen. You guys ever seen Seinfeld? Can't stand ya. <laughs> oh, I love Seinfeld. <sighs> oh man, George Costanza is my spirit animal. And it's mostly because George Costanza is based on Larry David. And Larry David is also basically me. There's so many times where I'm watching Curb Your Enthusiasm and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I know how it feels, man. I just recently, I'm re-watching re with Mike and we're on season two and like the episode where he has to stop and chat just happened and he's like, oh, he wanted to stop and chat and I hate the, I hate the small talk. I hate the stop and chat where you stop and you got to talk. And uh, I was like, me too. I hate being like, oh, good. I, let me avoid this guy because, like, I don't want to, like, have this small talk conversation. We barely know each other. We don't have enough going on. They're going to be like, hey, how you doing? I'll be like, yeah, I'm good. How about you? Oh, good. How's this and that? And I'm like, oh, that's good, too. All right. See you later. And that's the end. And it's like, none of our, neither of our lives are enriched by this, by this exchange. And uh, both of us have less time than when we started. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, get a load of this little biscuit. Yeah, Horthrax. I actually know that story where he's like, yeah, I, I left Saturday Night Live. I was super pissed that none of my stories were getting getting published or like none of my skits were getting uh, getting created. And so he left. And then on Monday, he's like, he just walks in again. <laughs> oh, man, that's wild, dude. Again, we want to hit lands, so uh, discard one card. What are we going to discard here? Probably just an island. Well, the thing is, we're not going to cast Savage Swipe here or Hooting Mandrels. 
And I think we definitely want more blue, so we'll play the land. And we're just going to pass here. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? Believe it or not, I'm not home. I saw I saw an episode of uh like it was a late night show, it might be Conan or something, where um where uh Kat Dennings, she's uh she's the actress who played uh, Jane's friend and Thor. I can't think of her name. And uh, she's a huge Seinfeld fan. I believe it was Kat Dennings anyway. She's a huge Seinfeld fan and she actually had George record that voicemail message. George. Uh, Jason Alexander record that voicemail message as George for her phone. Which is pretty funny. Um Let's get in there with this guy. I think I just play visionary and keep up both depths and apply to biomancy here. They also have two lands, so it's not a lie if you believe it. Um, plus one, bounce this guy. They got a searing blaze. We got a compulsive, so we win. Cat Dennings is the whole package. Like Seinfeld? Female? The whole thing. <laughs> that's, that's that's funny. That's funny. Oh, they conceded from the game. Man, we didn't even draw our life game, boys. Oh well. Oh yeah, this is a hand. Alright, this is, this is actually a hand. I'll put a forest back because we only need one forest and we also have Preordain. Preordanio. And now we're just looking for lands. I'll take any number of lands on the top. Put you on top, put you on top of that. Yep, that is fine with me. And now we have Compulsive. We'll probably hit at least one land to discard. boop, 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 now I have the Seinfeld song stuck in my head. Thank you, guys. No, just kidding. It's not that bad. I'm pretty sure I did this to myself. Frenzied Gobo. This deck is aggressive, man. Problem is now they can just sack all their things to, to deal us more damage. I'm actually gonna discard a land here because we don't need four mana. Like mana word next turn is probably fine. Three, four, five, six. We take seven though. Ugh, I think we're just dead. This format is very, very strange. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that if the Michael Richards thing... But here's the thing. Like, the Michael Richards thing happened, but then they still had... Um, they still had kind of a semi-reunion on Curb Your Enthusiasm in Season 9, I believe? 8 or 9? Which was actually super fulfilling. Like, I really... I, I liked it a lot. I really appreciated that semi-reunion. See, if we had Hooting Mandrels, we would have 100% discarded two cards last turn, but... This is where they go Searing Blaze or Lash Out. Hmm. 
I still have it. Lash out. Lash out! Yeah, alright. Yeah, Smokey Lucky, you should definitely watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's really, really good. And it definitely scratches my Seinfeld itch. Like... Yeah, we're just dead. <laughs> yeah, this is not ideal. One, two, three, four, five. Like, they can just untap and sack all their guys, right? So, yep. Dead again. I mean, theoretically, we could play Hooting Mandrels and then kill this. But, like, well, I guess their only card is Frenzied Goblin. Maybe we would have had a chance. Any life gain coming up in the near future? Not really. So, like, we would have had to hold on for a while. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel. Edit deck. Planes can go. And save it. All right. Believe it or not, I'm doo -doo -doo -doo. my name is Michael B. All day. It's not Michael B. All day. That's a lie. Yeah, I feel like maybe we could have held on for that last game. Like, they would have to draw, like, runners in order to, like, deal with our guys. But, I mean, it's definitely, like, it's the red deck, so, like... Oh, they didn't even blink. That's surprising. They didn't blink. Oh, yeah, they did. Never mind. Sure. It's a lot of lands, but I mean, I guess we are fine with it because we have capsize and aether snipe, so. It's gotten to a point where, like, when I read a comment and I don't know who said it, I can pretty much tell with almost 100% accuracy if it's Smokey Loki. <laughs> Isn't Irish soda just leprechaun tears in a can? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, we got it. Sure. I guess we'll take three. Oh, I like a good rain. Eh, I'm gonna hold back. We're already behind. All right. Yep, that's the guy I was hoping came back, but. Uh, 
The problem is there are two guys that fly have enters the battlefield abilities, so... You know, that's rough. I think we still bounce the five drop. Because, I mean, even if they draw a card, like, they can't do anything with it. It's not great, but... Gets it out of their hand. Or gets it out of, off the board. And, like, they're basically spending five mana to draw a card, which is... Whatever. This is awkward. One, two, three. Hmm. I'm tempted to cycle either snipe, blink, displace both of these guys, and then just bounce their whole board. But I don't know if that's even great. Yep, I figured they'd have something. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I'm going to bottom this because we already have capsize and other things. So I guess we'll just keep the chains. Get back a preordain here because we can cast it right now. Are you gonna do something? Stagger shock my face, stagger shock my face, attack for four. Okay, cool. God, I, I, I don't know. This this format's really it's really weird. Bring in the wing codal. Um, all of our bounce spells seem pretty rough because they have a deck full of cards that do things when they enter the battlefield. Uh, I don't really want Stitch Drake to get bounced. Airy Oofs seems like a great addition. We can probably take out one of these two. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, maybe Shaper Parasite's actually just good. It's expensive, but it does a thing. Wow, sick hand. You know what? Sure, this is actually pretty good. I hope. He said, fingers crossed. Oh man, I love George Tsoukalos. Aliens. I don't know where they went. T -t -t Today, Junior. What if Tales of Leprechauns, Elves, Dwarves, and other Yumeria creatures actually change the sides of currently on? Um. So, I have a. An, uh, the, I, I believe in. You ever just be a biscuit? Yeah. Oh, you've definitely been a biscuit before. I have the opposite. I have a, a similar conspiracy theory. I don't even know if it's a conspiracy theory, actually. It might just be a well accepted theory that, like. 
<sighs> pulling this guy back. Um, that all the like crazy, like there's a bunch of religious paintings that have like UFOs in the background. And it's really weird. Like they're just in like really strange images that like don't make any sense. Like, there's no reason the images should have the, the objects that they do. Like, this is an old, like, Renaissance painting. Um, but it has this weird orb with two antenna. And, like, the person painting this would have no idea, like, to create this. Here's a better, here's a better image of it. And it's super weird, man. It's like, what is, like, like this right here. Like, what is this? And these antenna, like, what is this? Or like this. You know, like here's uh here's here's another Renaissance painting where it's like here's this this thing in the background that just looks like a UFO. What is that? What are they painting, you know? No, it's not abstract either. Like this is literally like very clearly a perfect circle that looks metallic with Anten like very straight antenna coming out of it. Like what is what are you doing? Like it's very strange. And it's very popular. Like it's crazy. Like there's a bunch of stuff throughout history that look like this. You know, and uh there's no real explanation for it, you know. Like this is another classic example. Um Whereas, like, there's this here and this here. And if this isn't a human being in, like, a spacecraft, like, this would be this would be your interpretation, right? Like, if you're living hundreds of thousands of years ago, hundreds, not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds or thousands of years ago, like, you know, around zero, around zero, year zero, like, this is, like, you're in, like, what is this? This would be, you don't know what to compare this to, so you're like, well, this is my frame of reference, you know? Like, I don't have a frame of re Oh, those are just their Jesus bonds. Everybody knows that. Yeah, it's just weird because, like, it's... it's. If you've never seen a spaceship, and spaceship technology is, like, literally, I don't know, 2,000 years away, um, what, you know, you don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I figured they had that. Nope, no blocks. All right, little coiling oracle. He went to the garbage can. I would not mind uh, what's known as a hooting mandrel next turn, because that guy seems great. Wall of roots, mm, it's not really the same. What do you what do you think the odds are they got an exclude here? It's four hundred percent, you see. Right, like if you start looking at these at these religious paintings or like these 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 historical Renaissance paintings, um, it's very interesting. In the like in the if you start looking at them like in the uh, like this, like what is this? What are you painting here? In the context of like these guys are painting things that they didn't know how to explain. They just kept three mana up, like. All right, so we get the mnemonic wall here, which is pretty sweet. Definitely getting back Reign of Revelation here. 
chocolate rain of revelation. They return the op instead of the stagger shock? That's interesting. Op seems extremely boring there. What do we discard? What can we do here? We have one, two, three. We'll have four mana if we play a land. I don't think we need four mana, so I'm actually just going to discard the land. Chain this dude up. And now Pondering Mage is great with the Mnemonic Wall. <laughs> Ghostly Flicker. <sighs> yep. Yep, that's hard to deal with. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I actually love... Um, Yeah, our, that's what I mean. Like your primary, our primary interaction is bounce spells. Like as we went over in our in the literal deck building portion, and like we don't want to bounce any of their creatures. They're bounce spell, bounce spell. Don't want to bounce any of these three. So that's cool. Oh my god, I hate this. That it's not a mana ability. That's so annoying, dude. Um, oh God. I mean, all three of these are pretty good. The problem is we only have one blue, so no shuffle. Do this jobby. Get back this place. Look again. Oh, I like band together too. All of these are very, very good. No. Okay. That's actually decent. I guess if we can survive, we're okay. But now they get to flicker both of these guys and get back two things. That's pretty good. Sure. Um, we know there's a Bailoth Gorger on top. I don't think we have any incentive to to displace here or to to, to preordain. Well, pre combat anyway. Kind of just want lands. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, we'll just take one, I guess. Or we can bounce it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
That seems good. So then you have Eye Kite and Ghostly Flicker in hand. Sure. Bayloth Gorgy. One, two, three, four. Like, if they exclude this, it's kind of sad, right? I guess it's fine. They did not. <sighs> Searing Spear to the face. Okay. Very aggressive. I will take one. Wouldn't be losing if we were still banned. You might be right. One, two, three, four, five. Um... Uh, two star you control this one. Kill that thing. They have eight mana. Like, it's an aggressive amount of mana. Yeah, if they have a counter spell for this, let me just lose. I'm pretty sure, so. Uh, to target creature. Sure. It's actually fine. I don't care what creature you kill here. The wall. Okay. Feel like we're doing all right here. Yep, spicy electro boy. You got it. If I can't loop spells, yeah, that's literally what happened. Like they knew we had displays, so. Um, yeah, I think this is just good enough to keep here. It's a real come at me, bro situation. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Face down. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, that's just great. Um, plus one, plus one, bounce this idiot. Oh, I guess we could have just killed them too. That would have been that would have been better. Yeah, well, I guess we could have just killed them.
It was a blow. Like, the value was so real that I'm like, I just have to do this. Instead of killing you. <laughs> so if we get punished here by, like, them dealing us six damage somehow, then... Alright. <laughs> Man. Alright, so... I actually think Peace Strider is pretty decent here. Two toughness creatures don't seem great. Winged Kotal actually doesn't seem that great. Peace Strider seems good. It's a 3 3. Striped River Riverwinder, if we get to the mana, also seems good. Island Walk seems great here. Curse of Chains doesn't doesn't actually seem that good. Yeah, Pulse does seem good, too. Like, the life gain just seems relevant. Do I just go crazy and play 42 cards? Sunny D ain't noise pollution. I mean, if we just get this up to, like, level 5, 6-6 six, six Island Walk's pretty good. I guess they just bounce it, though, right? Like, that's a lot of mana to invest in a creature they can just bounce. But they kind of have to do that. Yeah, and you can only do it at sorcery speed. Yeah, it's fine. We can do without that. Oh, good. One land. Well, mulligan this. Say yes to this. Nope. Alright, we'll keep. Uh, I'm going to put probably Pondering Mage on the bottom. I think otherwise two drop and a three drop and then having a, a Rain of Revelation is nice. That's even better. That seems good. What is Sunny? Do you think you guys are c c complaining that burns your throat? Uh, is it... Fascinating. We can bounce their zombie and make our own zombie. Sunny D. Oh, they're just going to bounce my morph. Okay. Rude. Seems fine. Mm, bounce this guy. Hachi machi. Oh, they're missing like red mana on turn. They're missing. Lots of man, lots of land drops here. Oh, this is an instant. Oh, uh, choose you. Yep, they're going to pay costs. <laughs> so annoying. Jesus, God. <laughs> Why? Why did I do this? <sighs> God. Feels Batman. And I guess it's not, like, the worst blowout ever, but it's, like, it still feels dumb. We could just... Not done that.
Wow. Wow. Jeez. That's amazing. One, two, three. A little sky spawner. I guess you got an exclude? Wow, well, you got fucking everything for having only one color of mana. Must be nice. Oh boy. Well, now they got red. And we've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six spells to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Pretty, pretty amazing. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, the opponent's hands are always fucking hot. That's, that's just how you do. Yep, there's another fucking land. Amazing. O2 incoming. And now they have Exclude in hand, which is super cool. Franconic Disciple, have a good night, buddy. <sighs> Guess we just play this to get it countered. Yeah, I mean, our biggest misplay was just, just windmill slamming this when they had mana up. I mean, but they knew what it was, so, like, they're not going to tap out while we have it because they're just not going to play into it. Well, we got our wall of roots back, full strength, so that's cool, but our hand still sucks. So... At least you're... Oh, look, another... Oh, look, another... Another bounce creature. Bounce your own, is it, Cronark? Seems good. Look at all the flyers you get to draw. Can I draw a, a, a card that's not a land? Oh, another flyer. Nope, can't do it. Can't fucking do it, guys. That would have been real amazing if that was not a land, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Get back Searing Spear next turn. Cool. I'm having a good time, having a good time. That's the exact opposite of the thing that I'm having. Having a shit time. The better my deck is, the more matches I lose. Yeah, I, that's it's it's hundred percent true. When I have a pile, I go three zero, and when I have a deck that I think is actually really good, I end up going one two or zero three. Like, our deck seems fine. Like, Pondering Mage, Mnemonic Wall with Displace, Bounce Spell, really good draw spells, uh, Capsize, two Bounce Creatures, and then we end up facing the deck that has all Injured's Battlefield abilities. Aether Sniper, Rewinder, Hootie Mandrels, like... Draw less lands list. Buddy, I've been trying to draw less lands for fucking ten years now. Not as easy as you think. I'll keep it because of Ponder, but it's not impressive. I do need that good luck planes in there. I do. You know what? Both are fine. At least we can get rid of some of these lands. You know, presuming they don't just kill this guy on the spot.
They did not tap, but now they will tap. Let's discard island. Oh man. Living the dream. Let's just rain. Yeah, discard an island. Next turn we can play Gorger and Savage Swipe. Oh wow, my bandana looks great. Yeah, I've definitely had games where I, I had more fun than winning. But, I mean, the problem is, like, when you don't win and you don't have fun, so. Yep, seems good. Smokey, look, you have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the subs and, and whatnot. Always a, always a pleasure, buddy. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Supersonic speed of light. Let's play this guy, see what happens. I think we just want to keep... Well, we can Savage Swipe something with them. They, I guess they tap it. That doesn't really matter. But none of our guys are big enough to really Savage Swipe profitably. So I'm just going to keep these three cards up. Sure. Block you. Uh, plus one, plus one. Bounce you. And never don't have it. Uh, interesting choice. I guess you get to do it without a white. Sure. So if we attack, they will just uh, attack with both. We'll take four. If we don't attack, they just attack with the Attended Knight with Exalted. Then we take three. So considering they're at 20 and we're at 14, I would rather take three and them take zero than us take four and them take one. Sure. I kind of want to land here so I can play Sky Spawner in depths without having to. Well, 
I guess we're going to depth anyway. They're going to tap down the gorger, I imagine. Sure. Man, lead and bullet, bullet is kind of obnoxious. Well, we're going to block first. I just want to get Rain of Revelation back. That seems pretty good. Is that the old Monic Wall? Oh, that's the new Monic Wall. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's easy to get them confused. They have two cards in hand. I don't know what they are, though. Yeah, that beard one's pretty good. <laughs> that thing just... That looks like it's just trying to fit right in my face. Okay, and then you're going to tap my wall down. Or not. Oh, okay. We're just skipping combat. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Three, four. Get my rain on. Blinking these two is pretty good. Get rid of a forest. Play an island. Mana War seems pretty decent. Especially with Displace. Do your little blinky boy. Yep. All right. Well, I feel like we're doing better this round than we have so far. So that's all I can really ask for. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tap down my little beastie boy. Wow. No tap downs. Oh, it's got first strike. Yeah, well. Whatever, we're going to do this anyway. Choose target creatures. Okay. Forgot about the first strike. I was like, I'm okay with trading with all these, but then they had first strike. Wow, that's a nice beard. Check out my sweet beard. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, we didn't see much. We saw like three cards. We saw Lean and Bola, um, a Tendon Knight, Kosali Pride Mage. And that was basically it. I think Shelter.
That's a sweet beard. How can I get mine to look like this gorgeous masterpiece? It's going to take a lot of work, Mark. It's a lot of hard work, buddy. Um, Yeah, this hand is pretty decent. We just need some three drops, which we have uh, innumerable. Oh, we saw the Gideon Lawkeeper boy, too. That was a great draw. Oh boy. Oh dang it, six drop. <laughs> Seven drop, not even a six drop. You got it. I mean, I'm tempted to just keep the seven drop because I think it's very good. What up, Ponu? Um, no, just take two here. Bail off. Okay, that's a thing, I guess. Oh, they're paying costs. Things are... Oh, Elephant Ambush is an instant. Well, that's fascinating. Hmm. I guess that makes more sense why it is, uh... Hmm. I'm tempted to displace just this guy. I kind of like it because it lets us... I guess it doesn't do much, right? I think I'd rather save her for Ponder Mage. <sighs> yeah. Alright. I don't love it. We're going to take a bit of damage here. Oh, interesting. Only attacking with that guy. I do like that they have the original uh, Odyssey token here. That's pretty sweet. That's a good attention to detail. Oh, nothing left the battlefield though, so that guy's just fine. Yep. I feel like we just want lands here, to be honest. One, two, three. Shuffle it. Hit a land. We played a land already, so we can't play another land. Next turn, we can actually Plied Biomancy plus this, bounce this, and then Savage Swipe this for three. Okay, well, that's good. I guess we'll take five here. Go to ten and hope they don't have shelter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, they're out of white now. Oh, this is actually this is actually good. Instant savage swipe is not an instant. This is definitely not a regular time for me to stream. B 
Alright, so we can either band together or displace. Both are instants. We're gonna tap our zombie. What's in your head? In your head? Just those two gentlemen, huh? So if we blink, like if we blink our guys, they just tap them down. They tap the the Pondering Mage down with Gideon's Lawkeeper. And I think the Pride Mage is just a better creature than the Attendant Knight, so. If we hit a land, we can play Striped Riverwinder, which is great against all of the things they have on board here. Including that. Okay. Well. Hmm. Uh, considering it's a five-five, and they can tap down both of our guys, we just kind of have to play the the, the big, big big daddy. Yep, that's the one I figured they tap because that's the one that uh, I would probably throw in front of the bus here. Yep, that is a trade. That is a trade we have to make here. Are they one card in hand? Okay. Okay. We can play Cloak Siren and then still blink both our guys. I do like that. Hooting Mandrills. Let's get rid of... We, don't, we can't get creatures back from our group. Actually, we brought Impulse, did we not? Let's find out if we brought Impulse. We did not bring Impulse. Okay, good to know. So we can't... Um, we want to keep up three, right? So we can actually pay the three. We want to keep a Band Swipe applied, because we do have Mnemonic. Mnemonic, Mnemonic. So now they're going to tap both our things. They're going to try to attack. We're going to blink both these guys. And then we're going to Pondering Mage, get some... Get some value here. Yep. Secretly banned. Yeah, they might have a... They might have a secret forest in their deck. Or a secret island, rather. Um... I'm going to shuffle this. I don't want the island at any point. Curses kind of meh <sighs> that's much better we're gonna dull block because if they do happen to have shelter in hand that gets past this but this kills it either way that card's very good but so is capsize mnemonic wall we just shuffled that Six. In your head, zombie. Yeah, we can just pass here. We have Depth and Siren to play EOT. I just came because last time I watched went on a hateful rant about how all their opponents are always lucky and they never are. Oh, man. I mean, like, I've definitely... Like, the last round, I was definitely a little irritated. But we've been drawing a good amount of lands this draft, too, so... I wouldn't say my rants are hateful, though. That, that's definitely not uh, a quality I would definitely, uh, definitely not, uh, man, not consider, not consider that. I'm bouncing this just because they have this attached and they have this trick, so I'd rather just get this guy out of here. Anyway, Shmurricane, glad to, glad to have you here, buddy. Yeah, all right, do that, sure. I have no idea what that does. One, two, three, four. And we can always actually bounce our own. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get rid of this centaur. 
pretty sure this game's over. I'm pretty sure it's another 1-2 one, one, here, my dudes. You are super... Oh, okay, cool. So clearly, <laughs> clearly we're familiar then. Yep, get in there with these guys. Oh, yeah, I get a little... I get frustrated, but, like, I never try to, like... I never call people names, and I never... Like, it's never my opponent's fault that I drew poorly. Or especially that I misplayed, you know? Like, none of these things are their fault. I'm gonna take it out on Grey-Eyed Wanderer over here. That's just ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... What's in your head? I, I don't know. One, two seems fine. Like, this format's kind of frustrating, to be honest with you. I also like just Reign of Revelation here, but... Because they can't actually tap our guy down this turn. Or we can capsize our own Hitting Mandrel for six. And then bring it back. I'm gonna play rain here. Um, curse is actually pretty rough because they can just attack Leon and Bolas to something and then just like tap it in response. But at the beginning of their turn, it taps their guy down. It doesn't untap, so I guess it's actually fine, right? Like they'd have to use this at the beginning of their turn. And not at the end of their turn, so... Yeah, that's fine with me. So now they can actually pump their Gideon's Lawkeeper, but I don't think that does anything. Or they can tap down the zombie army. Yeah, sure. Yeah, again, doesn't doesn't really do much, though. I mean, this is lethal. Yeah, they don't have any cards, right? They just tap down this guy, they take three, four, five, six. Hmm, fascinating. They're probably trying to be like, we'll see if he... Oh, this... Oh, that's fine, we got capsized. Yep, that'll do. All right. Oh man, one two. Not not the best, but I accept it because now, at least we have play points for the vintage cube when that shows up. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, cool stuff inc every Wednesday, and manatraders.com. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch, on YouTube, slam the buttons. I'll see you later, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Oh, and before I go, Schmurricane, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. I think I just subbed with the formatting was weird, so I don't know. Really appreciate the four months, man. Thank you, thank you, my dude. No, you did it. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you guys next time.